Hi, welcome to Don's Workshop. This is my review of the Lego 1969 Camaro. So here it is built. Uh, I've switched it into the uh, convertible mode for now. Show you that to start with so I can show the interior a little easier. But this was a very nice build. Uh, it is, I chose the uh, red, brownish red color for the uh, highlights of the oldest stripes and whatnot. And then they use the brownish red color on all the, a lot, the, a lot of the interior of the dash as well. So that makes an, it makes it look very, I think it looks pretty nice. Anyway, at the front here, we have these uh, nice headlights that they've uh, kind of put on. And then the hood opens with the engine it's not not super detailed it's got the little 302 sticker on there um, it doesn't have as much detail as uh, some other mod or some other sets have on the engine but it's got the radiator it's got some uh, some some uh, pulleys in there and whatnot to kind of indicate what uh, some parts of the engine are doing. And we have the uh, doors. Got a, just a fairly basic couple of hinges here. And then just this internal hinge piece that holds the door uh, from going too far open, right? Uh, the interior also very nicely all tiled off and whatnot and both sides the mirrors on this one are using some gray popsicle sticks or popsicles for the mirrors uh, the seats pretty I think pretty normal kind of seats what they what Lego has been doing uh, for these kind of seats and cars with the uh, slopes on the sides and and then just some bricks in the middle for some various uh, these are using the uh, two by two or the one by two bricks with the lines on them kind of like the radiator lines there's a sticker in there for on the dash for the uh, instruments and and as well as a radio down there and then there's a little shift lever and a, a five five cent coin as well as a little uh magazine uh that's in there for model t magazine the seats the front seats lean forward let someone in the back then we have the trunk area nice this has got a nice very nice roomy trunk you can't see what's underneath like a like you see other sets and then for the convertible, this piece is here for, to, for the convertible version of the car. So I haven't tacked it in, but yeah, this is what would be for the convertible. So that can come off like that. There's the underneath with the, you can see the steering mechanism there. The steering wheel does turn the wheels, so that is pretty good. Uh, and then at the back as well, you have the license plate and there is a second license plate as well. Uh, and as well as these printed uh, tail light pieces that are, are also on this set. And then they're just using some Technic connectors to for the tailpipes. Oh yeah, here's the, here's the other uh, license plate here. I had it in the trunk now to put this one back together uh, with the the uh, hard top I do have to take this trunk off here but yeah the trunk kind of has to come off so I can get the rear windshield on it goes there's clips to go into the clips on the back here to get that on then the 
trunk can go back on, or the lid for the trunk, and then we can put the these mounting pieces. Now I'm missing, oh, I guess I could have put that in first, but I'm missing the uh, one of the inverse slopes that we're, we're missing when I put this together. So I'll have to get that from, I'll, pr I'll put in a, put in a, submit a request to get that sent to me along with, I got some other missing pieces now as well I need to order. So, but yeah, so I'm missing the one slope. I got it over here. It should be one on the other side. And then this just goes on like that. Um, and there we go. So yeah, just missing that inverse slope that would go there. As you can see, it's all the way up here. So that would make it have that nice uh, silhouette there uh, for the window. Anyway, this has got just a few stickers. Got the Camaro stickers and some Z28 stickers up here and on each side, as well as a Z28 sticker on the back. And there's a Z28 sticker on the grill as well that I put on the wrong side because I put it on upside down. So I just put it on the other side to put it on right. So it's right side up, but that's a, it's a very nice model. I do like you have the color choices uh, I think the red looks nice, um, and but you also have the the there's the gray and the white, and you get all the tiles and and uh, cheese slopes and that you need to and curve slopes that you need to replace the all of this red tile that's over here for either gray or white if you want to go that direction but I think that looks uh, quite nice in the red. So I just thought I'd do a little comparison, of, like compare this one to the uh, the Creator Mustang. So the Creator Mustang and this and the, and the Camaro are, are pretty similar in a lot of the build. It's like they got a lot of the cheese slopes on the sides like that. And that is uh, like you can see like the cheese slopes are fairly similar on each side. The doors are similar. Um, this the Mustang is slightly different on the inside. It's got it's got this uh, uh, it's got this hinge on the inside to keep it from opening all the way. Now the the Mustang was released first. It was uh, it was still when it was uh, it was released as a Creator set versus the Camaro is an Icon set. So. There is some different build functionality. Um, now it's har it's harder to open the, the Camaro hood. The Mustang hood opens up really easily. There's a lot more detail in the Mustang engine uh, compartment than there is in the Camaro engine compartment. I don't know if that's uh, meant to be more accurate or whatnot, but yeah, you got. Yeah, you have like an indicator for, there's a battery here. There's some, they included some uh, rubber or rubber bands for, for uh, belts and the, the pulleys that actually can turn and whatnot. So that's pretty neat. And as well as this detail with the radiator versus just the smooth piece with the radiator there. They do have this, that, and they have a couple of little radiator pipe and one, one piece there, but there's actually hoses and whatnot in, in the Mustang for parts of the engine. And then of course there's this, the detail of the, the turbocharger if you put the turbocharger on versus the versus the the yeah the air cleaner that comes with the the Mustang. It's it's good but it's not just not as much detail in the Camaro. Um, the Camaro is a little more seems a little more finished in the trunk area. Trunk area of the Mustang, you can see right down into the wheels. They just kind of, you put the nitrous in there, but you can also just see right down to the gear shifting for the wheels as well. Uh, the The Mustang has has uh, thicker wheels. It's uh, or wider wheels 
than the uh, Camaro. Uh, the this, yeah, seats are similar. This is a much easier. The Mustang for just has to you just have to take off this to make it a take those pieces off to make it convertible. You don't have to. I don't think it's meant to be a convertible though. Um, the and the seats work similar uh, as well. They lean forward. That's what I mean. Seats are similar. They're, these are using these uh, kind of tan Palisade bricks, I guess, textured bricks that are different than the ones they use for the for the Camaro. The uh, of course the Mustang comes with some different like add-on pieces like not uh, just the turbocharger the, the spoiler as well as these the side it, uh, exhaust pipes here that you can make it to look a little more aggressive um, headlights I don't know the headlights are just the simple clear uh, dish reversed versus this those um, curved or the tile like the curved tile that is put on there it's an interesting one I think this one might be a little nicer just because it's closed and you don't have that uh, like the hole showing on like on the Mustang but uh, the other thing is the Mustang does have the additional Technic feature for raising the rear wheels and lowering them so that's a little like kind of additional extra feature that you get with the mustang that doesn't uh come with the camaro so that is it's just an interesting way of doing it these me i find the one thing is the mustang's mirrors are really flaky like they'll go in and out all the time that's kind of annoying these these popsicles don't move around you they just they're pretty solid so that they, I don't know if they look as good or what, but uh, yeah, that's a, they are solid and they're not moving around. So that's a little, little bit of uh, interesting contrast what, what's going on there. But the handles and whatnot are the same on the doors and the doors work very similar. So that's my take on the uh, Camaro and the Mustang that Lego has released so far. And if you uh so if you'd like that review and comparison of the lego camaro uh and you want to see more uh, please subscribe thank you for watching and take it easy